So we're on the lookout for Yago, who I hope is upstairs. Not having some sort of party in the lounge. There you are. Praise Uref, you've returned, Yago exclaims. Did you find the Ring of the Light? I did. By the way, this guy from a cutscene tried to kill me, but I just loaded the game. Then you have only to find the Ring of Stone and the Ring of Fire. We were beginning to fear the Riders had captured you. We? Riders? Did you? I don't know if they warned me about those guys, actually. Yago gestures toward the massive oak doors. Your presence is required in the Great Hall. You have an audience with the royal family. Ooh. What did you tell them? Sornahan has many spies, Yago explains. Secrets do not hide for long in the palace. What's done is done. Do you trust them? No, of course not. Yago replies sharply. And you'd be wise to tread carefully, but we're all united against a common enemy. The king will be able to help us. He turns to Fleece and Rosalind. Welcome back to Lanel, Fleece. But who's your companion? A novice of the order, I see. I'm amazed that you don't remember me, brother Yago. You're kind to address me thus, says Yago with a modest bow. But I surrendered the privileges of that title long ago. I imagine I had left the monastery before you were even born. How do you know me? Indeed. No, we've never met, but you knew my mother. What was her name? It was the girl you banged. Ursan of Toradan. The blood drains from Yago's face. For me, that is a name of sorrow and longing. The abbot sent you here to torment me. You dare speak of torment? Rosalind seized with sudden anger. As if you suffered more than she did, you abandoned her. If the gods are not dead, they're vicious and cruel. If there was anyone more unworthy of the summoner's power... Worse people than Joseph have been born with the mark, that I assure you. Yago retorts coldly, raising his voice to silence her. The old man closes his eyes, as if crushed under the burden of memory. I can't blame you for hating me, but Ursan understood my sacrifice. Perhaps in time you'll understand as well. She shakes, shakes her head in disgust. I've promised the abbot to offer my help, but do not presume to ask for my understanding. I am afraid we must defer this matter for the time being, Yago replies. When the Emperor is defeated, accuse me of any crime you wish, but we mustn't keep the king waiting. Follow me. I'm here. I'll just go in myself. Yago's informed me of your quest. If the prophecy of the Jade Temple is indeed true, then you must fulfill your destiny and defeat the Emperor Murad. Of course. I understand you know how the rings of darkness and light in your position. Is this true? It is. If we were not at war, we would commit a hundred knights to your cause, as our counselors have so sagely advised, however. We mustn't call attention to your quest. We have therefore chosen a warrior in our service to help you. His name is Jakar. And you will find him quite capable. Will I? Jakar, you may enter. Feet are stout. Bandaged hands. All right, he's not wearing armor. He's got a guile flat top. He might be a good addition. Jakar, this is Joseph of Massat, born with the mark of the summoner. You have been chosen to help him fulfill his destiny and defeat the Emperor Murad. Your Majesty, from me you demand the impossible. I'm needed to fight the Orinians. I came to Linnell by your command, but I must now return to battle. How dare you speak to your king with such impudence! If I say you shall die a thousand deaths for this man, then you shall die a thousand deaths! Are you so full of pride that you believe the fate of the Medivin army rests on your sword? Forgive me, your majesty, but I know this boy is Joseph of Saran. His gift destroyed my village and massacred my family Oops. nine years ago. What are you saying? All know the story of the demon of Saran. And here is the boy who called that demon forth. Nothing remains of our village, not a stone left standing. Joseph could not control his power and the people of Saran perished. If this is true, Yago, why were we not informed? Your Majesty, Jakar's account is true. As a child, Joseph lacked the strength to control the beings he summoned, and thus Siran was destroyed. 
Hey, but Joseph is older now and prepared to master his power. Nevertheless, it is not a soldier's place to question the wishes of his king. Though your desire for revenge may be honorable, you must forgo vengeance for the greater good of our kingdom. If you are a true subject of the king of Medeva, you have no choice in the matter. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? Forgive my impudence, your majesty. Your will shall be done. Yes, it shall. Though we find this news most disturbing. I pray you are right, Iago. For the sake of us all. Joseph will not fail you, your majesty. Hey, welcome, new guy. He is a level 8 Jakar. He likes axes and swords. Perfect, I have some for you. Dodge heavy arms. He likes to parry, push people around because he's big. He knows how to use blunt weapons. Counterattack. He has a chance to get a free hit when he parries. He knows kick, added blow, kick, mend. Use or recover some hit points on combo. Oh. I like this guy already. Let's get you kitted out. Can you not use this sword? Oh, right. It needs to be super high level. Damage 60. You're Medivin. There you go. Big damage. Can you dual wield? That'd be cool. You can't. We got to get you some clothes, mister. I have to return to battle. If the prophecy of the Jade Temple... Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was going to be this foppish dandy was going to join me. Who's this? Oh, that's the prince. Look at that evil mustache. You will face many perils on your quest, Summoner. No doubt you have met the four riders. I met one and I ran for my life. Only Murad knows whether they are men or beings of this dark magic. Go on. Murad mastered the lost arts of the Nuvasarun, the evil sorcerers of Lahara, who found in death and despair the source of their power. Only the rings you seek can stop him now. Rings? Have you learned where the rings might be found? We will ask the Kosani, apparently. Ah, the people of Vatigar. The Kosani are ruled by the Usadana, a name that means queen, mother, and priestess. They are a proud race, and you would be prudent not to anger them. How do you know this? I too studied at Iona, though I never completed my training. I was born to help my brother rule, not to lose my head in books. You may need my help if you wish to enter Sanavar. Go on. The Kosani are suspicious of outsiders, and they will not allow strangers within the walls of their stronghold. Why? When the Knights of Iona quested for the divine words of the gods, they robbed Savarna. Oh, oops. Now the Kosani greet visitors with the utmost suspicion. How do I get in? Go to the High Temple of Urath and find the Hierophant. Ask him for the Blade of Tarun. He will be expecting you. The Blade of Tarun? The dagger was a gift from the Ul Sadana to our great great grandfather. The Kosani will know the King of Medeva sends the one who wields this blade. Uh, do you have anything important to say, Your Majesty, old lady? I'll just run and jiggle while we talk. Long ago, Murad murdered Emperor Deodi II and usurped the throne. Under his tyranny, Arania has suffered and his armies march on Lanel. You, Joseph, have the power to stop him. Power to stop him? Why would you say that? In the legends of Ikemos, the priest king Armin used a ring of stone to wage war against the river god. He is the first of the summoners, but none have ever found his ring. What is Ikemos? A fallen empire whose golden age marked the end of the chaos of 10,000 years. They worshipped the river god Ikemos, who sank their empire into a swamp. Oh. The river god demanded a living sacrifice, the children of the empire. Armin and his people rebelled against him, and so they were destroyed. How do we find Akamos? The swamps are treacherous, and you'll never find Armin's palace within a map. I regret we cannot help you, but I know of someone in Lanel who can. Go on. If anyone would know where to find a map of Akamos, it would be Tancred, the Prince of Beggars, who I know. You'll find Tancred's lair in the Old City. All right, so... Uh, I don't know if I need to find his assassin first, or if he'll just tell me before he dies, but we need a map of that swamp. You have only to find the Rings of Stone and the Ring of Fire. When your quest is finished, come back to Lanel, and I will tell you what must be done to defeat Murad. 
All right. Most of my party is still wearing their t-shirts, so we really need to find a merchant. King Bellius has ruled Medieval for 16 winters. Governing this kingdom has never been easy, and his disposition has declined over the years. Go on. Belias has no natural air. Oh, I'm, I swear another guard has spoken to me about this. Goodbye. On the upside, if that horse guy jumps us, Jakar does like twice as much damage as everyone else. Actually, wait, it's because he doesn't know magic, isn't it? Yep. He is just never allowed to cast magic in his life. I need to go to the temple. Which I think is this big thing. Because this should be Temple Plaza. Yep. So he's somewhere here. Oh. My axe is getting a little loose, I don't like that. Balancing precariously on my shoulder. This is either the temple or some sort of sewer factory. Temple of Urath, perfect. But if I was a hero fan, where would I live? If we're lucky, right at the altar. This is a big fucking temple. You're just a priest, aren't you? Oh, yellow, that's a good sign. Here, Font. Let me just jiggle towards you. There we go. I am Ferenc of Moano, Hierophant of the Urathi Priesthood. I seek the Blade of Tarun. Ah, so you're the child of prophecy? I'm actually Jakar, but I'll, I'll guard it for him. I give to you the Blade of Tarun. For generations, the Hierophants of Urath have guarded this dagger, a symbol of the Medavan kings and their friendship with the people of the Sanavar. You're the Hierophant? I am the leader of the Order of Urath, sworn guardians of the eternal right. As long as one voice speaks the right, the world shall endure. This has been our mandate since the Aranageth. The mosaics of the temple tell the story of the Aranageth. The War of the Gods. Do you wish to hear it? Sure. Do you wish to learn about the first, second, or third Arenageth? Or would you rather learn about the death of Urath, God of the Sudani? Which one's farewell? I tried to meet you halfway, dude. Would you like to learn more about our religion? Yes. Should I start at the beginning? I have to go. I'm just gonna leave. What are you up to, Yellow? The priest performs the eternal rite. Okay. You do you. I need to find you some armor, at least a shield. Maybe the Crown District has a rich person shop? I doubt it.
Have you been to the market? Have you seen the price of flour? I'll be charging 100 gold per loaf just to pay the miller. Hmm. I mean, I'm not paying 100 gold per loaf. Fuck that. Luckily, as the main character of an RPG, I subsist on plot and oxygen. He was just a golem mechanic. This man was a gambler who squandered his wages in the taverns. Not content to lose his own money, he contrived to lose mine as well. If I forgive one, I must forgive all. He's just gonna break that guy's legs. The Miller. When the Reddies traded silk, the local weavers had to sell cheap, and so they cursed the tailor in the streets. But now we're at war, and there's not a scrap of silk in the marketplace. Welcome, friend. Have you recovered my stolen goods? Oh, I should get on that, huh? Hey, how much health do you have again? 366 compared to... Oh, yeah, he's pretty tanky. We almost got 100 HP on the others. And this etch, it's pretty tough, but we do need to... I need volume 28 of the Encyclopedia of Heresies. I can afford it now. No. How much is the book? 200, there you go. All right. And I forget where that guy lives. Oh, hey, this is for Jakar. I want him to have this heater and I want him to have these boots. Oh, everybody can wear this actually. Did you get these just because I advanced the plot? Heavy arms too. Looks like everybody can wear these. Oh, never mind. I didn't buy those ones. Those are too expensive. These are fleece only. And sell. Fuck it. No one wants those lizard tails. Sixty damage. Forty-five on a regular war axe. Actually, what's a medieval war axe go for? Not very much. I'd still prefer a hat or something, but can I fight with this? Nope. The Ulsadana of the Kosani gave this blade to the King of Medeva four generations ago. They will know that whoever bears this dagger has been sent by the King of Medeva. I got a lot of shit on the go. Studded leggings. Are those fleeces old legs, or did I find these somewhere? I found those somewhere. Hmm. Can you fight with a bastard sword? Oh, he probably can't use his shield because that's a two-hander. You know... She fucking goes down so fast anyways. I'm going to give both these to Jakar. You should clear 400 with that. 426. All right, let me sell you some shit that I'm never going to use. Reinforced boots for Joshua as well, actually. Can Rosalind wear these? Nope. Alright.
Protection 18. Not too bad. Oops. I want this. So anyway, I'm going from three up to ten. Yeah, that's a big jump. He won't even buy the leather boots I found. It is really hard to offload shit. Now, the sign implies you're a merchant I give a shit about. Weren't there some guys talking here earlier? Is the town changing? I wish I could find an armor merchant, but that weaponsmith sold boots, so maybe it's hard to find chess pieces. Well, if that horseman jumps us again, hopefully Jakar is good enough to see us through. Otherwise, we might have, how many scrolls do I have? I have one icicle book left. I don't have any money for anything really, so I'm mostly looking for people that want to buy my shit. Hello? Oh no, you're the guy just rambling about the market. Nobody gives a shit. Oh wait, you sell stuff. Meteor. Cast a meteor storm. That's tempting. What's a tablet? One powerful form. Huh. Oh man, health tonics are expensive. There's a weapon merchant. I can see your sign from here. Okay, uh, there's no way in hell I'm giving you money for any of this. But I'll give you this fro- no wait, I want to save the frozen club in case I need to use a blunt weapon, but I'll sell this dagger, sell this dirk, sharp dagger, well I guess there's some money in that, keep the frozen club for the emergency. I think that's all that's left around here is maybe another potion shop. Recovery drop. Well, hello, what is this? Plus one swords. Ah, Jakar fights with an axe right now. And that's a lot of money. What's a recovery drop? A potion that speeds recovery from damage. It has regenerate in it. Oof. Regenerate doesn't really keep you alive when you get your face bashed in. There was a weird, like, shop of bandits by the docks. There's no more shops here. I think this is our whole party, actually. Because we have the one slot left for a summon. Everybody is full HP and AP. Battle axe? Nope, I do way more damage with the hatchet I found. A war club? 
30 damage. What's a halberd do? It's an axe. She fights with a staff. So none of this is too handy. Crossbow, quarter staff. There's the quarter staff, but that's the one she actually has. Quarter staff is considered a staff. I don't see anything else staffish in your inventory, so goodbye. No chest armor. Well, we'll just wander the countryside until that horse guy attacks us, because there's some quests we need to wrap up. Actually, we should probably... We might have to wander the city to find more quests now that the war is advancing or continuing or whatever. Let me get over to the exit here, see how many quests we even have. The rag doll. The doll fell down a well, so it should be in the sewer somewhere. Tome of Gehannis. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on, huh? Oh, here we go. In the Crown District, a priest named Zephnat is missing two volumes from his encyclopedia. Okay. I'm much more concerned about what's going to happen on the world map, though. But that's a problem for next time. We save it preemptively so I don't forget to save it. There. 